Hello YouTube and welcome to your fourth Google Chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be looking at something called message passing in Google Chrome extensions now what does message passing do and how it is useful so first of all message passing is an API of Google Chrome which is used to pass messages from one environment to another or basically from any script or any page to any another script in the extension in the same extension or maybe even different extensions so why it is useful supposedly I run a content scripts in the, this environment right here and I want to send the information to about the links and their values to background script and then background script creates an icon right here and when we click this icon it shows a pop-up list with all the link information and the anchor text and all like that so with the help of uh, content scripts we cannot modify this pop-up pop content right here but if we use background script somehow then we can modify this content right here but background scripts as you know run in an isolated environment and do not have access to the user DOM so what we can do is we can grab the information we want from the user DOM using content scripts and then we can pass this information to the background script using message API so in this tutorial we'll be creating a simple message passing API to do that first of all in your content script defined in the manifest.json right here go ahead and type chrome dot runtime dot send message and in the parenthesis supply the message you want to send and in the background script we want to receive this message sent by the content scripts so what we do is we type chrome dot runtime dot add add listener and basically before this we write on message chrome dot runtime on message dot add listener and then in a function we supply three arguments which is the response sender and send response you can name them anything you wish I've just named them clearly so that it's easy to understand what is the function of each now this response uh, argument holds whatever the response is sent by this content script right here the sender holds the information about the tab which is sending this information to the background script so we can actually grab the tab ID and other tab information from the sender argument and the send response function right here is used to send back the response to the content scripts currently we do not want any response back so we are not using anything to grab the response sent by the background script okay so let's see what we want to do with our response argument let's simply alert this response argument and see what happens now let's reload our extension and let's visit some page say Google and as you can see we get the alert box hello world so now what happens is in the manifest.json we have the content script matches wildcard as every HTTP page and every HTTP page as well and Google right here is an HTTPS page and <coughs> whenever this match occur which is obviously it's occur on this page the manifest.json orders the extension to execute the script in the context environment and when this happens this script sends a message with the help of chrome.runtime.sendMessage API to the background script now on receiving this message this function in the background scripts become active and then this function using this function the argument response is alerted with this code 
and therefore we get this alert box right here which we got earlier okay so to do something more dynamic what we can do is document dot okay so now let's reload this extension and as you can see we got Google now this is a kind of dynamic application you want so what's happening right here is whichever we page visits this JavaScript I assume you know JavaScript very well so I won't be explaining this code what it does and how it does so this JavaScript right here grabs the title the inner text of the title attribute right here the inner text of this title attribute right here and then it passes it as a message to background scripts and background scripts alert this message so this message would be obviously different for every page because every page has different title for example if I visit Pinterest so on visiting Pinterest I'll get a complete different message with the title name of Pinterest let it load and here you go we have got the title as an alert box of Pinterest similarly with different pages we'll get different alert boxes because this is a kind of dynamic application which grabs the title of every page and sends it to background and then alerts it Twitter as we see okay so this was all about message passing the basics of message passing and this method is actually not relevant if you are using long time connections in message passing like supposedly if you create a chat system then you cannot use actually this message because then you will need to write thousands of commands and loops to pass message so we have a different API for long lived message passing connections but we will be mainly using this API to send messages to background script and other pages so this tutorial was all about message passing API in Google Chrome and in the next tutorial I don't know what we will be discussing but that would be pretty awesome and that's all for now and I'll see you in the next tutorial then thanks for watching